so here's my book collection book haul books that I want to read I don't know okay so I know it's been a hot minute since I last filmed a video and every single video I upload I literally say I promise I'm gonna try to upload more and then I never do so even if I say it now you're not gonna believe me and I don't blame you because I am lazy I wish I had like a valid excuse like oh like I'm in school or like oh like no like there was literally no excuse there were so many times that I wanted to film a video that I had an idea and then like I was just too lazy to actually film it or I was too lazy to edit it or whatever the case may be so there's literally no valid excuse but <laughs> here I am promising again that I'm gonna try to upload more um, but this time I, I think I'm gonna stay motivated because my friend Ashley is getting into tar tarot, tarot, tarot cards. I don't know if I pronounced that correctly. Um, readings, and so she did a reading for me, and like it was spot on. It was like mostly saying that like I was gonna be big with like social media or like blogging or public speaking or whatever, and that like I need to keep like focused. That like I I tend to want things to just happen, and I need to like work on things to let it happen. It was like just crazy spot on to like how I've been feeling lately, especially with like YouTube, because I've been thinking since like before Christmas, like hmm, I really want to film a video. I was debating on doing vlogmas, and then I didn't. So it was just like crazy how like it like mentioned like being big with like public speaking and everything and like Ashley didn't even know that I wanted to do YouTube it was just like crazy so I was like okay like this is the universe telling me like girl like do it like what are you waiting for so here I am today's video is I don't want to call it a book haul because some of these books I've literally had since middle school um and most of them are new, but like some of them I have had for a while. I decided to film a video of that. It's like a whole row of um, books. And like I said, there's books here that like I got in middle school, I just never read. So I got all the books that I have not read that I have in my book collection that I want to show you guys and like I don't want to be like these are books I want to read before 2019 ends because if I'm too lazy to film one YouTube video I am definitely too lazy to read all these books I have like two piles of books here um but these are books I definitely want to read in the near future hopefully before 2019 ends hopefully before my life ends I don't really know okay so let's just jump right into it I guess so I'm just gonna grab books and then just show you guys there's really no method to my madness um so the first book is this one it is the classic bestseller mythology timeless tales of gods and heroes um i saw this book at newberry comics and then my friends bought it for me for christmas because i love greek mythology um that whole era of like history like the trojan war like all of that i love is my favorite part of history so i I'm so curious about like Greek gods, but like everything I read about them, like even when I was in school, like it wasn't like dumbed down enough for me to put it simply. Like I didn't understand it. Like I've always wanted to read the Iliad, but like I never knew what the fuck was going on because like I don't understand. Like I'm not dumb. I mean, that's debatable. But like, I don't know. I, I like, and I thought originally I did think that this was going to be a little bit more dumbed down. Um, cause honestly I flipped through it and I saw pictures and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> It's probably like, like a mythology for dummies, but it's really not. It's like, um, like actually like a, I don't, I don't want to say like a textbook, but like basically, but I, it is enough where I can understand because it's like normal English, not like poetry from like the Iliad. Like I don't understand. So, um, sometimes it does quote like the poems, um, like the Iliad and all that stuff, but like it explains it. Um, so I really like that. And it's like all the gods and all of the demigods and like all of that so i haven't finished it yet but i am pretty into it so far and I, I like i said like i knew i was gonna love it because i love everything about greek mythology but it's not too like textbooky that i can't understand it which was the whole point of me getting it so i do like that so thank you to my friend who bought it for me um then i have this book it is we all looked up um this one i bought uh i think the summer of 2016 and i did read I, I i did read more than half of it because i used to work at a call center and at that call center we were allowed to read books in between calls like while we were waiting for calls to come in or whatever so i bought this to read 
at my job but then my job closed and I got laid off so I never finished it because I didn't have time to read while I was looking for a new job and everything but it was good um up and like to the point that I got to um but the little I don't know what this is called but like that part explaining it is says before ardor came we let ourselves be defined by labels the athlete the slut the slacker the overachiever but then we all looked up and everything changed they said the asteroid would be here in two months that gave us two months to leave our labels behind two months to become something bigger than what we'd been something that would last even after the end two months to really live so i was like oh my god i need it i want it and it's actually like it was interesting so far. I haven't finished it yet, so that's why it's part of this list. Um, ooh, maybe I should do, like, books that I have read some of. No, because then I'd have to dig through the piles. So, <laughs> messy and unplanned. That's me. Um, okay, then I have these I've had since mm, seventh grade. I made a bet with my seventh grade teacher that I would run for, like, um, class. It wasn't, like, class president. It was, we went on a field. This, like... <laughs> How many times can I get off topic? Um, we went on a field trip in seventh grade where we got to like run a city and it was really interesting and I was like very like I don't want to say like I was shy and talk like but like that was me like I didn't like people I would like I didn't even like talking in like class like I want to raise my hand um and my seventh grade teacher my history teacher who like planned the field trip was like uh you're not like I doubt you'd run for mayor and I was like, no, I'm going to, because if you ran for office, like any, like there was like different things, like you could run for like mayor or um, like head of police or something like that. If you ran for something, you didn't have to go through the process of applying for a job and like interviewing. Cause like, it was like a whole like thing. Like it was like teaching us how to be adults. And because my anxiety was so high, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna run for mayor and not have to deal with that rather than like having the anxiety of like, adulthood <laughs> you know what i mean so like um because like you really got interviewed by like the teachers who like so like there was a teacher that were, like, ran like certain things and i was like i don't want to talk to people i don't like nope not my style so i'm gonna run for mayor and if i don't win then they just place me in a job so i was like oh yeah yeah you want to bet you want to bet i won't run fine hmm. And he was like, okay, if you do win, then like, I have to like, I'll give you, like, I'll get you something. I was like, okay, fine. And I ran for mayor and uh, I won actually. <laughs> Thank you. You're there. <laughs> Thank you next. Um, but this was the gift that he got me for like winning the bet. Cause like the bet was just me running. It wasn't even me winning. It was just me running. Cause he didn't think I'd get that far, but that's right. <laughs> I did that. So these are, um, it's a double, like, I don't know which one's first. I think it's the, this one. I don't remember but again this is about the Trojan War um it's about Helen Helen of Sparta and um so the this one is nobody's princess and this one is nobody's prize and it's like a story like an un, like the untold story of Helen of Sparta um and I don't know I guess like it follows like the real mythology but like with a twist I guess I don't really know because like I guess like depending what you view whatever like Hollywood likes to romanticize it and like Helen like wanted to leave and like one of them Helen like she didn't want to marry the fat guy in the first place or whatever so um this is just like I guess like someone's take on it and I don't know which one's first I can't see oh in the rousing sequel okay so this is the second one nobody's prize and then the first one is nobody's princess and I never read them which surprises me because i was obsessed with the trojan war literally this teacher is what made me obsessed with like that era of history but i just never got to reading them so haven't read these yet then i have this book which is like two books in one i think so it's like called the shore but then there's shirts and shoes not required and laguna beach inside so I think these are like two different, yeah, because like all the way back here is like chapter 11. So I'm pretty sure this is like two different stories in one. I don't know if it's, wait, what? 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 I'm confused. Oh, yeah, okay. What is going on? Yeah, okay, so like right here. 
starts like the second book so like all this is like the first book that's second book i don't know if they're related I, they probably are well no because it's two different authors i don't know i bought this like i think i was still in middle school when i bought this and i was like oh my god i want to read it and then i never did story of my life but yeah so there's that i've had this since elementary school <laughs> This is so sad. Literally, like, me. I love reading. Like, reading is my life. Also, me has, like, this long-ass video of books that I own and haven't read. <laughs> but in my defense, my pile of books that I have read and kept is bigger. And then I have, like, books that I have read and then, like, donated after I read them. So in my defense, um, this isn't as bad as it looks. But I bought this at a book, at, like, the Scholastic Book Fair because I had, like, <laughs> a phase where I was obsessed with the Titanic. I'd watch Titanic every night. I was obsessed. Like, listen to, like, Celine Dion, My Heart Will Go On, like, on repeat. <laughs> I learned how to play it on piano and everything. So I saw this book, and it's called Distant Waves, a novel of the Titanic. Um, and, yeah, and I was like, oh, my God, Titanic, and I bought it, and then I never read it because I only bought it because it was, like, about Titanic. But I think I'm going to give it a read. I think it might be a very fast, easy read for me considering I bought this in elementary school and I'm now 21. But, yeah, so chased by their past and drawn towards a more hopeful future, four sisters embark on the journey of their lives aboard the Titanic. So, yeah. Then... <laughs> Oh my god, the backstory. You know, this is actually a good video because the backstory is some of the reasons why I own these books is so funny. <laughs> so this <bu> and <laughs> so this book is a Sarah Dessen book. I actually don't like Sarah Dessen's writing. I read a couple of her books in um high school and I didn't like it. Um but <laughs> the reason I bought this I bought this one before I was in high school. I was in middle school and I bought this one too. And the reason I bought this one was because the main character, the boy in this book, his name is Eli. And when I was in middle school, I got catfished by a boy named Eli and it left me like so fucked up. Um, so I, when I was like my breakup with my catfish boyfriend, Eli, um, I was at the bookstore and I saw this and I was like, oh my God, the boy's name is Eli. Eli, oh my God, I miss my Eli. I need to buy this book. And then I never read it. But it's Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen. Um, I'm not even going to read the back of it because I don't like her books. So I am I might read it just because I did make my mom buy it for me when I was like 13. So I might read it and like, like that one's definitely like getting donated. And then I have The Duff because I wanted to watch the movie and I'm very big on um, read before you watch. So I knew this was a book. Um, so I was like, okay, I, you can't watch it until you read it. And I still haven't watched it because I never read it. But she comes to realize that like, she's not like at the same level as her friends. I'm like, that's okay. Or like, I think that's what it's about at least. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think, I mean, literally like me explaining the plot of the book and like, that's not even the plot. <laughs> But that's what I thought it was about. And I don't know if it is not because I haven't watched the movie or read the book yet. But that's what I thought it was. And I was like, oh my god. Like, she's self-aware that she is a Disney ugly fat friend. And she's proud of it. So I need to read that so I can get some confidence. And then my sister bought me these um, for Christmas, I think, two years ago. The If I Stay Where She Went books. Um, I haven't read them yet. I wanted to watch the movie. But then people told me the movie sucked. But I'd already asked for the books for Christmas. So... I haven't read them because people told me the movie sucked and I was like, well, then I don't want to read it anyway, but I'm going to have to read them eventually. So it's If I Stay, Where She Went, or no, wait, If I Stay, Where She Went, and then I guess there's like a new one, like I Was Here. I don't know. No, wait, that's a different one. Wait, I don't know. I don't know. But yeah, I have the If I Stay books. This one I also bought in middle school. Um, it is Troy High. And um, this is basically like a modern version of the Iliad. <laughs> Homer's Iliad, a classic tale of love and revenge, is shrewdly retold in Troy High. So basically, she's a cheerleader. She goes to one school. I don't... Um, I bought it because, again, I am a slut for that era of history. So I was like, oh my god, I'm going to read it. And then, like, I think I was going to read it in the summer, but then I had, like, a specific book I needed to read for summer reading, so then I never read it. But, um... Yeah. What if Helen of Troy went to your high school? So there's that. 
And then I have the beloved Simon versus the Homo Sapiens Agenda um, or the movie Love, Simon. I haven't watched Love, Simon yet because again, I want to finish this. I started this in high school and um, I started my senior year and then we graduated. So I had like return it to the school's library and I didn't finish it. So then I like, you know, I didn't like buy it right away. And then I I, I bought this recently and I, I saw it at Target and it was on sale and I was like oh my god like I never finished it and I want to watch Love, Simon. I'm gonna buy it and finish it. So I don't know if I'm gonna when I start it I don't know if I'm gonna start it from the beginning again or if I just pick up where I left off like roughly. I haven't decided that yet but I'm really excited to read this because my gay heart loves little gay happy stories. Like obviously there's like drama like that like that's what people want, but like it's like a it's a love story. So that's what we need. We need more of Love Simon. That's what we need. And then I have, uh, um, I have um, Catching Fire, Mockingjay, and The Hunger Games is somewhere here. Where to go? The Hunger Games. Now I did read The Hunger Games in middle school. I read it in eighth grade, and then I'm pretty sure I read half of Catching Fire, and then I never got to Mockingjay. So when I I bought these at Savers actually. Also, side note, Savers or I don't know what's the other one that like people go to Goodwill. I don't know if Goodwill has books, but like if you want books or like you know you want to not like not like well no because even if you're not looking for something you could probably find it, but like go to thrift stores they're so much cheaper literally this was supposed to oh i think i peeled it off okay the like recommended price for catching fire is 9.99 and i paid 2.99 for it and i know savers does buy four get one free and in the summer they have books for a dollar all for like a certain month or a week whatever so you can save money and like I don't know their books like even if they were used like library books are used like do you know what I mean like I don't know so if you are looking for a book either you're looking for like a new book or you're looking for a specific book like check out your local like savers or thrift stores or um, like whatever goodwill whatever it is before you go to Barnes and Nobles or any other bookstore like I love Barnes and Nobles I have the like membership like I pay them every year but like sometimes like you don't want to pay $17.99 for a hardcover book and that's okay um like again, this one it's because it's a hardcover. Seventeen ninety nine is recommended, and I paid two ninety nine for at Savers. So I bought the whole series at Savers, and yeah. And um, so if I read them again, I haven't read them. Um, like obviously I haven't read it yet. But if I do, oh, it would help if I had them in the right fucking order. If I do read them, I am probably gonna start from the Hunger Games again, Catching Fire. Like I'm not good, just gonna read Mockingjay. Um, even though I already read Hunger Games, but yeah, I know that's like a classic. I did watch the movies, um, before reading because I had to watch Hunger Games and like, I was like, okay, well, I'm not going to watch the other two movies. Like I want to know what the fuck happens. So I watched them, but, um, I, you know, I, the movies were really good. So I'm assuming the books are going to be good. And I didn't, I do know I did enjoy the Hunger Games. So there's that. I have... Me Before You, which I did watch this movie first because I did not know it was a book. And the movie broke me, like, sobbing. Like, movie ended and, like, I'm still sobbing over, like, one scene. It was, like, crazy. And then my friend told me that it was a book. And she read it before she watched it. And it's funny. And I remember she sent me a picture of, like, a certain page. And, like, it was soaking wet from her tears. So I'm excited. I'm definitely going to save this book for a good cry. I mean, I did watch the movie already but like books hit you different than movies do I feel at least so there's that then I have the first Maze Runner book because again like I said I want to read before I watch usually I, I try to do that um I, I stick to it most of the time majority of the time I do stick to it but um I I'm a slut for Dylan O'Brien. I am. A, I literally only watch Teen Wolf for Dylan O'Brien. Um, if Dylan O'Brien's in it, I'm watching it. And I really wanted to watch the Maze Runner movies, so I bought the first book at Savers and haven't read it yet. But I want to read it so I can at least watch the first movie. And then if I don't like, though, so I don't even know if I'm gonna like these series. Um, the the movies do look good, so I'm gonna read the first book, watch the first movie, and then if I did like the book, I'm gonna read the rest. If not, I'm just gonna watch them. And then I have The Great Gatsby, but 
<laughs> but like the aesthetic of the 20s and like the aesthetic that like Gatsby in general like because like obviously the movie came out and then there was like the parties like themed after it and everything but like flapper girls and like all that like I love that it's so fun so I started this book my one of my English teachers told me to read it and I loved him I had a really close relationship with him and I did start it but then I think um honestly like depression was like kicking my ass so like I, I wasn't even doing my schoolwork. I was just like laying in bed all day like I didn't want to do anything I didn't even want to live so I never finished it and then like the school year ended and I just returned the book so I definitely am gonna reread this book like from the beginning um and actually finish it but this copy was the what I saver so it's just the, the movie copy the movie cover so like yeah with like Leo and everything and I haven't watched it yet so I need to read it so I can watch it because I love Leonardo DiCaprio and I don't know the plot of this book all I know is that like some people really hate Daisy or some people really love Daisy and I do see a lot of um edit like videos of like young and beautiful with like scenes of the great Gatsby and like I do watch them because I'm a slut for that shit so I don't know the plot I, I know like a little bit about each character or whatever um but I'm excited to form my own opinions so that's exciting yay the I'm almost done I have a couple more books left then I also have Beastly again bought this one at Savers so it's the movie cover and um this movie came out in 2011 so that just shows you how old oh my god I hate myself okay so again I wanted to read 2011 I was like in middle school I wanted to read before I watched bought it never read it never watched it um but Vanessa Hudgens is in the movie so that's fun and yeah I like this guy and he's like ugly in the inside so then the witch makes him ugly on the outside and like someone has to fall in love with him right so I was like, oh my God, like beauty is only skin deep. Yes, love that. I stand because like seventh grade me was like, like so extra with that shit. So I bought it to read it and then never did. So I have to read that. Because like, I don't want to give away my book because like I'm probably going to donate like more than half of these, like 100%. But like, I don't want to donate them without like, at least like reading them first. Like, I don't know. I feel like like my books have like personalities, like they're alive and like they're going to feel really sad if I abandoned them without even like reading them first. So... I have the um this copy of Paulo Alto and I've read some of this before my best friend act well one of my best one of my best friends um bought a copy for herself and let me read it first and then I like didn't return it for like three years and I never fin actually finished it either um and I started reading this copy as you can see my little breath my little bookmark but I um so it's from what I understand, and I, this is a movie also, but from what I understand, it's basically um, like short stories from like the same city, but like they don't, they're not connected or like maybe they connect at the end. I don't really know, but um, it was good. I read like, again, my friend let me read her copy and I read like half of it and then like I'm basically halfway done with this one. Um, it is good and I do want to watch the movie because I love Emma Roberts, so... I am gonna finish reading this hopefully soon so I can watch the movie. Also, Nat Wolf is in the movie and I am a slut for Nat Wolf, so that's a thing. I have Will Grayson, Will Grayson. I think I bought this, no, I bought this like recently, um, but I know like John Green gets like hyped up like a lot and like a lot of people like don't like him, but like his books are really good. Like I didn't really like The Fault in Our Stars. It was too like, I don't wanna say mushy for me, but like, I don't know, it was too like, it was a good book, but like, like looking for Alaska was like more of like me, you know, I love looking for Alaska. I read that one like when I was way too young, like I think I was like in sixth grade and I stole it from, so in on my middle school library, like behind the library, the librarian's desk, there was like a teacher's like library where like the teachers could like take books out and I stole it from the teacher's section. So I stole it and I put it in my backpack and I read it and it fucked me up and it's why I am the way I am today because I was way too young to go through that shit and that heartbreak and I did and it was really sad and I remember crying <laughs> laughing at your trauma is like you know I guess you're like halfway over it right but no so my cousin told me that this was a good book and um I'm really excited to read it because when I bought it I took a picture of it of course you know gotta be trendy and post on snapchat 
and um, she told me that this was a really good book. And then she told me that her favorite book of all time was An Abundance of Catherines, which I also bought the same day I bought Will Grayson, Will Grayson. And I'm really excited to read this one as well. And like I said, like John Green's writing is good. Like as much as like people want to hate on him, like I do enjoy his books. So yeah, I bought this one. And then I also bought Paper Towns. Um, my friend said that this movie pissed her off. <laughs> so I'm excited to read it and um, see what happens. She said like the movie was good, but like the ending pissed her off. And I can relate to that because a lot of books and movies do that to me. Um, and the movie does look good. I know, I think Nat Wolf's also in it. Um, so, uh, and Kara, which like, Kara is like a whole another level. But yeah. So I'm excited. I have like my little John Green book section. So cute. Then I have this book, um, Prom by Lori Halse Anderson. And this book is my sister's actually. She read this when she was in high school. She's seven years older than me. Um, so when she was in high school, I would like try to steal it and like read it and like she wouldn't let me and um, I never did so Yeah, prom And then I have the beginning of everything everyone gets a tragedy My friend read this book in a senior year and she said it was really good and she would go through books like crazy. Like she would just read, 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 read. And she'd tell me all these books to read. And um, I have a list somewhere. So like when I see one that she like mentioned, I try to buy it. Cause like I, I go to Savers like periodically and like check out what they have. And um, I did buy this one at Savers and I'm excited to read it because she has like good taste in books. Like shout out to her. So basically, okay, I'll read you the back of it. I, I like read half of the backs and half I didn't, whatever. So Ezra, F I can't pronounce the last name, was supposed to be homecoming king, but that was before, before his girlfriend cheated on him, before a car accident shattered his leg, and before he fell in love with a new girl, Cassidy. So the beginning of everything, everyone gets a tragedy. Just the name, like, I can tell this is gonna be my type of book, and I'm gonna be really disappointed if it's not. And the last book that I have for you guys is Eleanor and Park. Now, I bought this book on my senior year, I'm pretty sure. And I never read it because my my senior year English teacher was amazing. I love her to death. And she would always get like new books. Like, she would buy books like for us. And she'd always get like new, like really good books. And then I'd read them. So like the ones I bought, like I never got to read because I'd always want the new ones that she like brought to us. But I am excited to read this. My one of my best friends who like is also like a really big bookworm read it and she didn't like it So I'm scared, but we kind of have like different tastes, but like not really um, I feel like she like reads like uh, Like she has like a broader horizon of books that she's willing to read or like me like I stick very to my like young adult and that's it So I don't know I'm scared because like I trust her opinion a lot with books and she didn't like this one, but We'll see how it goes. I'm excited to read it though. It does look good. So maybe like, maybe it's like not outdated for me, but like maybe I'm just too old for it. Maybe that was like her issue too. But um, regardless, I am going to give it a, a read and hopefully enjoy it because I was very excited when I bought it and I was like, I graduated two years, no, three years ago. No, two. So I did buy it when I was like 17 and I'm like, that was three years ago. But um, I hope it's good. And that is it for my book collection, I guess, book haul, collection of books that I haven't read and have owned for years. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm going to title this video. But yeah, so um, let me know if you want to see more books that I own. I can do a haul of books that I already own, a haul of my favorite books. I can even do like reviews of like these books once I read them and finish them, like film like my little... My little thoughts on them oh my god that'd be so cute and fun oh my god i should do that um but yeah let me know in the comments below if you've read any of these books if you like them how you feel about them if i shouldn't even like read if like, there's like a book that like sucked and you're like don't even like don't even try like just throw it out like let me know and if you have any other book recommendations definitely let me know in the comments below Thank you for watching, and if you could give it a thumbs up or a like, um, I don't even know what the correct terminology is anymore, 
or subscribe to my channel and yeah, just keep watching my videos. I promise I'm actually going to try to upload more frequently, periodically, like actually film videos. Um, I am motivated now because of what my friend had told me. So hopefully I stay motivated and film and edit and post. And that's that. So see you next time. Bye guys.